guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel, and happy August. We are about one week into August, and I realized that my empties bin is once again overflowing, so I want to sit down and I want to film it for you. I've already organized my wax melts, my hand soaps, and like my household items, so we're actually going to start with those first, and then we will transition into the candles. So this is everything that I finished up in the month of July. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with some random things, and you will see that these are cut open because it's the easiest way to open them. And these are the Bath & Body Works laundry products. So I finished the Palo Santo Fabric Care Fragrance Booster. These are their fragrance boosters. Now, I love the Bath & Body Works laundry. Oh my gosh, I love it. The only thing that I don't love, which is why this is cut open, is the opening. It is this little spout like this, and it really gets, the boosters get caught in there. And then whenever you're towards the bottom of the boosters, you can't get them out. But I will say they have repackaged the lid where instead of two separate pieces, it's one piece. And when you open it, this whole spout is gone and you can just pour them out. I ordered them, they're in flannel, but I have not tried them yet because I want to work through some of my older ones and I just dropped that. But I love the boosters. I just sprinkle a little bit, maybe a little more into my laundry and it just makes the clothes and the bedding and the towels and the blankets, anything you wash them in, smell so great. Another one that I finished was Sunwashed Santal. Oh, Palo Santo, you can't get anymore. I got it in clearance. It's that really rich, woodsy Palo Santo fragrance that you love from Bath & Body Works that I love. Sunwash Santal, though, this is beautiful. It's Italian bergamot, white violet, and amber wood. It only comes in laundry. It's one of their laundry exclusive fragrances. Oh, but I absolutely love it. Love this. I was using this all the time exclusively with my bedding. And anytime I got in bed after... I freshly washed these. It smelled great. Now they're not gonna last, the scent's not gonna last until your next wash, obviously, but the first couple times it definitely smells fresh and that scent does last and linger for a little while. So I really enjoyed that. I finished a Gingham Fresh Shower Gel or Body Wash. I love this. This is Clementine and Daisy and Pear. I'm so happy they brought this one back. The shower gel formula is fine. It's a really rich, foamy lather. Really enjoy it. And I really like the scent. So it was a nice shower experience. I finished two hand soaps, also for Bath & Body Works. I finished a gel in Pina Colada Swirl. This was from some annual sale. The notes are frozen pineapple treat, sparkling orange, and vanilla coconut cream. And this was a nice, like, coconutty orange dreamsicle fragrance. Now this was in the cleansing gel formula. I actually prefer the gel. I like the way that it lathers on my hands versus the foam. And then I did finish a foam in Sweet Orange Blossom. This was also real nice, real fresh and floral. Sweet Orange Blossom, Sea Lavender, and Warm Vanilla. I really like the packaging too. I love the like Italy inspired design. So really enjoyed that. I finished that one in my kitchen. I finished a ton of wallflowers. I have a wallflower in my bathroom, in my downstairs entryway, and in my upstairs entryway. My downstairs entryway sucks up wallflowers like it's nobody's business. I do use the scent control ones, and I do use them on high, just because I really love to be punched with that fragrance when I get in, and I really, really like them. They suck up that fragrance. I finished Berry Waffle Cone, if you know, you know. It's a rich, summery, delicious berry. I have raspberry thumbprint going right now. This is nice. It's not my favorite. It's buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam, sprinkled with powdered sugar. I wish it was a little more bakery. Flannel, I did this one in my bathroom. I love, love, love flannel. I have mountain teakwood going in my upstairs entryway right now. And this is nice. It's real fresh and masculine cologne. Chris Mountain Air, rich teakwood and fresh eucalyptus. It's like um, mahogany teakwood, but with some eucalyptus. It's really nice. And then I did two strawberry pound cakes. I also did these in my upstairs and my downstairs entryway. My downstairs one, like I said, 
finished way quicker. And this is Fresh Strawberries Golden Shortbread, short, Jordan gold, Golden Shortcake and Whipped Cream. So I finished those. And then I also finished the Air Freshener from Candles by Victoria. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, there's like the tiniest bit of oil left. But I mean, it's basically bone dry. I really liked this. And this was in the fragrance Pink and Lime. And I highly, highly recommend this fragrance. It's that Aqualina Pink Sugar mixed with lime. It was bright. It was just really strong. I now have pumpkin pecan waffles in my car. I, it's never too early. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. But I have that in my car going right now. Um, really great. Really love that. Now on to the wax. I will start with Scentsy and then I'll end with Candles by Victoria. I finished two bars of toasted apple butter. I actually have this going right now and I like this. This is a really spiced apple butter fragrance. If you've ever had apple butter, you know it's so delicious during the fall time. It's rich. It's decadent. It almost has like the cinnamon and clove in the forefront and then that rich creamy apple in the background. Really nice. It might be 90 degrees outside, but it feels like fall in here and I love it. I did tangerine creamsicle also in my dining room, living room, kitchen area. And I love this scent, but I did not get any throw from it. I don't know if it's because of the air condition or what. I love this fragrance though. It smells just like a creamsicle. You get that like icy popsicle fragrance and then you get that real citrus. Oh, I love, love, love tangerine creamsicle. I just wish it was a little stronger. I did two bars of cranberry mango. Another one that I really liked, I did this in my dining room, living room, kitchen area, and it was nice. I definitely get the tanginess from the cranberry with the sweetness from the mango. It didn't last super long, which I'm noticing a lot more with Scentsy. And my open concept is it really doesn't last a long time in there. I have to change it quite frequently. This I did in my office. It's Poppy Fields. It's actually in here now. I just don't have the warmers on. This but baby is strong. It is almost overwhelming how strong it is. And I don't love it. It's the Poppy fragrance. It's very floral and it's very strong. I can turn on these office warmers, have my office door open. And when I open my door to my apartment, that's all I can smell. It overpowers everything else and it won't die off. I want to keep it in here to see how long it lasts. But if you want a strong Scentsy scent that lasts, Poppy Fields is it. It is a strong performer. Southern Sweet Tea. I did this one in the office a while ago. I don't like it. It's just, it leans cat urine-y to me. I don't know why. I wish I liked it, but I'm getting cat urine when I melted it. And that is a no-go. I did Pink Cotton. I was actually doing this one in my laundry room. I love, love Pink Cotton. This is like fresh laundry with a little bit of like a strawberry note in the background. It's beautiful. I can't believe they got rid of it. I love Pink Cotton. One of my favorites. I did Almond Croissant. Almond Croissant is great. It's that sweet, rich bakery goodness. I did this in my bedroom and I devoured every second of it. I only melted it when I was going to be home for most of the day, in my room, watching TV, watching movies. Anytime I was in my room, I had Almond Croissant going because it is so decadent and so delicious. I did Soft Plumeria. This was from that like Disney collection. I don't like it. It has that like metallic -y note that I get from Plumerias. I don't know why. It's like a weird like metal fragrance that I get from like certain florals, that sharpness. I don't love that. I also did Amaretto in my bedroom recently. This was really strong. Wow, this is the strongest one out of the whole bunch. And it smells just like amaretto. It smells like almond, like almond extract. I definitely prefer almond croissant over amaretto. I have a ton of bars of amaretto though. So I might mix it during the holidays and like the fall. I'm actually thinking amaretto mixed with pumpkin. I think that would be really great. Homeworks had an amaretto pumpkin fragrance that I loved. So maybe try to duplicate that. Mix this with other things to mellow out the amaretto notes. So definitely want to try that. I did Black Raspberry Linen. This is from the Sensepirations collection. So this was Black Raspberry Vanilla 
mixed with like a laundry fragrance. It was okay. It didn't last a long time. I again did this one in my laundry room and it just performed fine for me. Sip and Poolside. I believe this was a new fragrance from the spring and summer catalog. I, is there a pear in here? I want to say there's pear. Perfect Day is my favorite since he sent when it comes to pear fragrances. This is a little too much of a sweet aquatic for me. I wish it wasn't as sweet. It kind of was like overwhelming when I melted it. Huckleberry Wreath. I did this one in my bedroom. It feels so good to get rid of all these glams. So let me tell you. And this was super, super oily whenever I popped it in the warmer. I love Huckleberry fragrances. I really do. I don't really remember what the wreath element is in this, but it it smells like the color. It smelled purple. You know how when you look at a color, you just know oh, that it smells like that color. This smells purple and I love it. So I really liked it. I like Huckleberry fragrances a lot. This is another powerful one. It is Bamboo and Rainfall. I have a Take a Stand warmer in my laundry room and I have it on my dryer and I have like my litter boxes in there so, you know, it can get smelly. This was so strong. Bamboo and Rainfall was definitely a winner. It was green. It was fresh. It had a slight aquatic note in the background, but it wasn't overwhelming. I really liked this. I would repurchase this and it was a powerhouse. This is another one when I had it going and I opened up my uh, front door, I smelled it going in my laundry room. It was definitely strong. And I actually have this one going in my bedroom right now. Dashing, I finally melted Dashing. I have so many bars from last year and I never got around to melting them. And I love this. This is like a sweet, sexy, sophisticated, um, almost like a mahogany teakwood, but lots of vanilla in there and sophisticated and sexy. This is beautiful and it's going in my bedroom strong. I just put it in this morning though, so we shall see how long that lasts. I have six scent shots from Candles by Victoria. I did Peachy Pink Coral, which is her nectarine and pink coral mixed with blushing peaches. I love this. This is sweet. It's fun. It's girly. The peach nectar in here is really strong. Mm, I love this. Love that. I did peach cinnamon strudel pie. I did this one in my bedroom one day, and I like this. I like nutty peach crumble a little bit more, though, if I had to pick, like, a peach bakery. But this was nice. It smelled like, like a coffee cake with pieces of peach in it. So the peach wasn't super overwhelming. It definitely is dominant on the coffee cake note. But the peach was in the background there, so it was very, very nice. I did orange juice cake. I did this one in my kitchen one day. Like this a lot. Juicy, fresh oranges with like a white cake. It wasn't vanilla-y. It just had that bakery cake element to it. Really like that. I did caramel bourbon. This is a, I think it's a fairly new fragrance. I like this. Victoria's been burning this a lot in her videos than she does on Sundays. So I ordered a scent shot to try it. Look at how oily even the cup is. Like her fragrances are so strong. This was great. I did recently place an order. It actually should ship today. I'm not uploading this until later in the week. But when I got, when I'm getting that, I got the new pumpkin caramel bourbon cookies, which is like this blended with pumpkin. Really excited. The highlight of the ones I melted were frosted cinnamon roll. So happy I have this in a candle. This is amazing. This is a blend of Cinnabon and Pink Cupcake, I believe. And this is like a cream cheese heavy cinnamon bun. If you like cinnamon roll fragrances, those really rich cinnamon decadent gourmand fragrances with lots of cream cheese frosting, you have to try Kendall's by Victoria's Frosted Cinnamon Roll. It's to die for. She has those three wick jumbo candles with the ice cream scoops on top and you can get it in any fragrance. And I think I'm gonna get it in the frosted cinnamon roll. I think that sounds amazing. And then the last for the melts is Ferris wheel treats. I cannot remember what this is, but it is like a sweet, like popcorn-y cotton candy type of scent. Really like it. It does smell like you're at a fair and like at a carnival. Really like it. There's a little bit of wax in there that didn't fully pop out, but I love the purple color too. I would totally get this in a candle as well. Mm. Really like that. So I finished those. I was just stacking them as I went. So I have like a little scent shot stack. I'm going to clear my space, bring out my candles, and I will be right back.
All right, all right, let's move on to candles. I finished from Country Candle, Sand and Santal. This burned all the way down for me. I liked this. It smelled a lot like Sun and Sand from Bath and Body, or from um, Yankee Candle, if you're familiar with that. There's no scent notes on here, but it did. It smelled very beachy, very, very beachy, very tropical. I was burning this in my bedroom on those days that it was really, really, really hot. And it did feel just like I was at the beach, which is not my favorite place to be. But I wanted to burn it and finish it up. It was a really interesting journey. It burned, as you see, it got a little sooty here just because I let it extinguish itself. But there were some low flames and then they caught up. I, it, it, listen, the country candles were not perfect candles. They were still working out the kinks. I do have one that I just finished burning, but it still needs to cool. So it'll be in the next empties video. But I have much, much, much better luck performance wise with those new candles so fingers crossed that it stays like that i finished from my friend over at 1820 house melissa i love her candles this is pumpkin porter ale this is actually one that i started last year put it away and then i finished burning it this year it burned completely all the way down i love this fragrance it's like a pumpkin beer fragrance i don't really get any yeastiness or any beer fragrance from it but oh, this was strong. It performed well all the way down. I love her candles so much. I've actually been burning on and off in my bedroom pumpkin oats, oats and pumpkin chai or pumpkin. Yeah, oats and pumpkin chai, I think it is. So good for fall, so good. I got it last year and I never lit it and now I am loving it. I finished Farm Chores with Matt from Matt Matthews' line in Cedar Shavings. He uses 100% soy wax in his candles, burned down all the way. I was not a super fan of this scent. It did smell just like cedar chips. It was fresh. It definitely was fresh. It just smelled like a cedar closet. Was not my favorite. Um, my aunt recently moved and she found some really old candles in her collection and she gave me this one, Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. This is old school Bath and Body Works. This is $22.50. Had this really fun, I'm actually gonna save this lid though. This like hammered metal pumpkin lid, love that. Let me tell you, after the second burn on this guy, it got puny wicks. So Bath and Body Works has been struggling with this problem for a long time now. And I ended up just letting it put itself out after a while because it never performed well for me. It was strong, but the flames were so small. And this is when they used to have like little stories on the bottom of their jars instead of just notes. Enjoy a marvelous mixture of two of fall's most delicious scents as sweet, smooth caramel swirls fresh pumpkin. And this is nice. It's definitely a really, really cloyingly sweet scent. I would never purchase it, but it was kind of nostalgic to burn an old school Bath & Body Works scent, so I liked that. I finished from Kringle. This is a three wick in watercolors, and this, I don't remember, honestly. It, I burned this right in the beginning of July. I don't remember much of it at all. Apple, citrus, currant, jasmine, musk, rose, sandalwood, sparkling, strawberry, and sweet pea. This was fine. It was just like a real sweet perfumey type of scent. Again, I don't even remember burning it. So, oh, I do remember burning this guy, Unicorn Poop. This was all thanks to Mel um, Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. She keeps talking about it and I had it in my collection and I never burned it. This says lemon zing, sweet orange, bergamot zest, sugared blossoms, cotton candy swirls, whipped vanilla, rainbow sprinkles, and shimmering musk. It smells just like Aqualina's Pink Sugar, Total Dupe. It burned completely down all the way. I'm obsessed with the blue, shimmery, rainbow type of jar. I love this. I am going to recycle this jar because I have fairy's floss left in my collection. And once that's done, I'll save that and clean out that jar. I think it's a fun jar. I finished one of the beloved Seabreeze. Everybody loves this scent completely burned down. It was nice. It was a creamy, coconutty, tropical fragrance. I was burning this in my living room when I was burning Sun and Santal in my bedroom to create like a beachy vibe in the house. And it was nice. I'm not super drawn to beachy fragrances, so I'm not one to rant and rave about them, but it was nice and it burned down all the way. 
I finished Marshmallow Morning. I first time burning this, loved. It burned down completely as all the Kringle candles do. This was very similar to pumpkin pecan waffles for me. Not as bakery sweet, and I definitely get more marshmallow, but I really liked it. I will totally repurchase this. This is one that I would love to see in a four wick size if that ever happens. And then last but not least, I wanna try to get this video out. So I don't, I wanted to give a little quick update. I finished a jelly donut. Listen, there are no words for this candle. It burned down completely all the way to the bottom and it's heavenly. It is hands down the best Kringle candle I've ever had. I will constantly repurchase it. I do have five in my stash, so I'm good for now, but gosh, I love Jelly Donut. This is just perfection from top to bottom. If you've never smelled it, definitely when they restock it, get your hands on at least one. If you're not a bakery lover, you probably won't love it, but if you're a gourmand lover, this is heaven in a jar. It smells just like those fried Jelly Donuts. Filled with, uh, filled with those fried donuts, filled with jelly and sprinkled with, powder, with powdered sugar. It's a strong performer and it burns forever and ever and ever. I love jelly donut. We'll always repurchase it. Again, this is perfection in a jar. And now my basket, yet again, is empty and ready to be filled up with lots of goodies for August. Let me know what were your highlights for the month. My highlight candle... I love Jelly Donut. I love Jelly Donut and Frosted Cinnamon Roll from Candles by Victoria. Definitely in my bakery era right now with fall looming. It's so hot out, but listen, I need some fall goodness. So as always, let me know how you guys are doing. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.